Welcome to Hang Tough Survival. I'm Robert and in this video I'm going to convert Clark's Mark II hammock suspension system which is a, comes with a nylon rope and a drip ring with the Hummingbird soft link system. This includes a one inch strap with a whoopee sling and two six foot extensions. I wanted to convert to a more tree friendly suspension system. One that would comply to some parks requirements of having a one inch strap for hammocks. I also wanted a suspension system that it could exceed the current 17 foot span that I could achieve with these nylon rope. I also wanted a system that could I could use the cordage for multiple purposes. This current cordage uh, for this suspension system stays attached to the uh, hammock and does not come off of it for other uses. I also wanted a system that I could reduce the volume in, of the cordage in the pack if possible. With the Hummingbird suspension system I was able to meet all my goals. These straps weigh three ounces less than the heavy nylon rope. That's a 54 percent decrease in weight. The nylon ropes weighed in at six and a half ounces. The entire weight of the Hummingbird suspension system weighed in at three and a half ounces. The Hummingbird suspension system also extended my tree span by six feet. That's a 21 percent increase in span. The old nylon ropes are a total of 22 feet, while the new straps are a total of 28 feet. Clark's Mark II hammock does not have an end loop on each end of the hammock. It does have a sewed in loop so that you can feed the nylon rope through as you can see here. So I was not able to use Hummingbird's methodology of hooking this button soft link to the end loop. So what I did was make an end loop and a soft link out of this button soft link. I do that by taking the soft link and feeding this through the fabric material at the end of the hammock, feeding this big loop through this small loop and then through the button link. And what that gives me is a very tight end loop while still providing for a, a button soft link. This method uses the string to bring the end loop through. And you can say that took about a minute and 14 seconds. And again, put your pinky in the big loop. Once you find the little loop, you take the big loop, feed it through the little loop, and then over the button. And now you have a nice tight end loop while at the same time being able to use this as a button link for your string, like that. As you can see in here, the Hummingbird suspension system has been installed on the Clark Mark II hammock. Uh, I've installed this not for the correct pitch of the suspension system, but to show you a very short distance on one end of the tree while having a very long suspension on the other end. If we get closer, you can see the strap is protecting the tree nicely. That's a one inch, 1200 pound type four military strap. And we come down to a, you can see here, we have the end loop here with the button link all built in to the end, which stays with the hammock. And then that loops around and connects to our whoopee sling. And the whoopee sling is as short as I could get on this end. 
on this end you can see this tree strap is working very nice I am not trying to get a 30 degree angle although I am close you can see the whoopee sling uh, is fully extended to right here and then the extension the six foot extension I have doubled which comes down and connects to the end loop that we installed with the button link and the extension also has a button link now these extensions I could have put it at six feet right now I have it at three but you can so I have this double looped you can make this a triple loop or quadruple however short you need to make this span this is spectra line rated at 1500 pounds all this spectra line has been improved from a thousand pounds to the new version of 1500 pounds these d-links would not be as fast to connect as maybe a carabiner but they're super lightweight i like them a lot in cold weather uh, if you didn't have the dexterity it might be better to have a carabiner you could add a carabiner to these but I like the soft link and I'll continue to use it even in cold weather you can see the whoopee sling is extended out to the fullest length but for adjustability it is very easy to pull it and shorten it to whatever you need it as you can see you have a lot of flexibility in the whoopee sling this one is as short as it can possibly be. In order to replace this connector that was designed to hold the rain fly on, that would just have this hook connect to this little link, I've replaced it with a simple Prusik knot. Uh, I've tied two fisherman knots here to make the circle and then I've tied a simple Prusik knot that can slide up and down. This actually gives me more flexibility in tightening the rain fly. Uh, it does not impede with the whoopee sling, but this is an example of how short you can set this system up and still have the Prusik knot give you the variability. I could use the second uh, hook that's designed in, into the hammock, but I just fold it back on the Velcro and leave it here. And I do use this if I set the rain fly up in a uh, more of a, t a tent setup, which I'll show you here in a little bit. You can see here on the extension end of the hammock, we have the Prusik knot that's on the extension itself, and it can slide up and it tightens up very nice and you still get your 30 degree angle. So the Prusik knot works out very well. Uh, I think even having it wet, it'll hold very good. The Hummingbird extensions are so versatile. See that I can use these as guidelines with my trekking poles to get my maximum expansion of my rain fly. If you learned something from this video, please like it and subscribe to my Hang Tough Survival channel.